Welcome to the Southern States Power Half Hour. Happy Memorial Day to everybody out there watching around the Mountain Empire and around the world, wherever you may be. Everybody here at Southern States Wrestling wants to take just a moment and pay tribute this Memorial Day weekend to all the men and women who have fought for this country, this great country of ours. And we also want to remember all of our soldiers that are stationed all across the world, protecting not only Americans, but all kinds of people across this great world of ours. If you would, please, let's have a moment of silence. Thank you very much. The Power Half Hour starts now. Hello wrestling fans, Joe Wheeler here along with Dakota Booth welcoming you to Southern States Wrestling Power Half Hour. Dakota, I know we got an action-packed program today. Who all's here? Yes, sir, Joe, we, we sure do. Uh, we've got three big matches. We're hoping to get all of them in time. We've got the Death Riders are here. Joe Briggs is defending his television title against Shane Royal, and DeAndre Jackson returns. So uh, let's get this music started and uh, get right into this week's Power Half Hour of Southern States Wrestling. Absolutely right. There you hear the music. We got DeAndre Jackson on his way to the ring. Should be a great contest. Get you started off this week here with Southern States Wrestling fans. DeAndre Jackson, a fan favorite as you hear the, the cheers coming from the crowd as he enters into the ring. And there is the, the ring of the bell, and this match is underway. Joe Wheeler, we've got DeAndre Jackson, who is hungry here in Southern States Wrestling, going up against uh, Jamie Gibson, who is no stranger to Southern States Wrestling. Absolutely right. Should be a great contest. Both these guys very experienced competitors, no question about that. As Jamie Gibson in control of DeAndre Jackson, at least for the moment, with that hammerlock position. But DeAndre nicely reverses right out of there and now has Jamie Gibson in a wrist lock position. So these guys are trading holds back and forth right in the opening moments here. But you've got to look out for Jamie Gibson as right there he gets a nice reversal as he's a, a crafty old veteran who can beat you at any moment. DeAndre trying to find some separation there. Caught him with a couple shots there. And Gibson caught him with a hard shoulder block up and over his man once again. And DeAndre sidesteps him. Caught him right there with a big hip toss takeover. And it follows it up with a big clothesline. And of course, DeAndre Jackson, he's still got his sights set on Kyle Cool and that Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Kyle Cool has done. Uh, so much, and uh, I know DeAndre's got his eyes on Kyle Cool in that title now. Absolutely. DeAndre Jackson is uh, he, he's a little sore after all, all the wrong that Kyle Cool has been, done, been doing to him over the past couple months, and he is ready to, to get a shot at that Southern States title and uh, really just take it to Kyle Cool. Jamie Gibson now got him in that corner, working him over here. Hard series of shoulder blocks and caught him with a hard right hand right there. Just absolutely nailed him. He's got DeAndre in trouble and he knows it. Jamie Gibson, very experienced wrestler and he has been all over. Got a cover and got a two count on that. And uh, Gibson knows a, a victory here, especially over DeAndre Jackson on television is a huge feather in his cap as well. Absolutely. It's a lot of action right here in this first match on Memorial Day weekend. I want to say thank you to all the veterans out there uh, that have been brave enough to serve our great country uh, and, and some have been sacrificing their lives. So we absolutely send all of our, our thoughts and our prayers to the families and uh, the thanks to the families and the individuals that have served in our, our great military. Absolutely right, Dakota, no doubt about that. Jamie Gibson now with a blatant chokehold on DeAndre as uh, referee laying that count on him and Gibson going right back into work. 
hard shot right there. Gibson may have even broke a finger or two on that one, but he's in for a cover once again, and DeAndre's right back out of there. Great opening contest this week here on Southern States Wrestling as uh, Jamie Gibson is in control with that reverse chin lock position at the moment. DeAndre Jackson trying to get some help from the crowd, get some momentum building in his, his favor. DeAndre trying to make his way back up to a vertical base. The crowd here in Gray, Tennessee, definitely rallying behind DeAndre. DeAndre caught him with a hard shot right there. Big, big clothesline. DeAndre's got him rocking and rolling here, Dakota. This may be what he needs. Oh, he's laying in a series of hard shots now. And a big elbow as Gibson is definitely in trouble. Jackson lifting Gibson up. Big body slam right into the center of the ring, and that is it. John Dre Jackson winning over J.B. Gibson with the bump. DeAndre Jackson, your winner right there, as you see in the replay. DeAndre, I got to tell you, that was an impressive win right there as you're moving up the ranks of Southern States Wrestling. But we know that you've got your eyes set on Kyle Cool. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? I'm giving him all. Giving him all in the best shape of my life. You know, usually I'm carefree. Go with the flow, smiling, dancing, happy. Nah, not this time. For two years, two years, I've been on an emotional roller coaster, up and down, up and down. You know, I suffered a shoulder injury that almost took me out, but I'm a fighter. Then, when I thought I was over that, a guy I thought was my brother, my best friend, turned on me also. And then when it couldn't get any possibly worse, Kyle Cool, you decided to dip your hands in your pocket and pay the death riders to try to take me out. But nah, uh-uh, I'm still standing. And somehow, he slithered his way like the snake he is to be the Southern States champion. Now you know, nothing to put a big, big smile on my face. More than beating, crushing, and proving that I'm better than Kyle Kuhu than to take that Southern States title. So whoever I have to go through, no matter what I have to go through, Frank Parker, Scott Sterling, the death riders themselves, Sooner or later, Kyle Cool, me and you are going to meet in this ring. And when I do meet you in this ring, best believe, like before anybody else came before me, you've got a hand bone in your face coming for you. And if you didn't know, now you know. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. We're going to hear from Kyle Cool next week, so stay tuned with us right here on Southern States Wrestling. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. The TV stars of the Power Half Hour are coming to a town near you. Saturday, July 12th, Appalachian Fairground, Gray, Tennessee. Food, music, fireworks, and professional wrestling at the Gray Block Party. Free admission. Saturday, July the 5th, Ashland, Kentucky. Summer Motion, the biggest summer festival in the Tri-State. Mick Foley and Jim Cornette will be in Ashland. June 20th, Gray, Tennessee at the Community Center, a big Southern States Wrestling TV taping. This Friday night, St. Paul, Virginia, wrestling at Clinch River Days, free admission. Be there. Hello everybody, it's your friend here, Bo James. Want to jump right in here this holiday edition of the Power Half Hour real fast before we get back in the studio down the ring. 
with Joe Wheeler and Dakota Booth because there's a lot more left of this program right here today. But I want to take a few minutes to just tell you about a big sale going on, kingofkingsport.com. Check it out, kingofkingsport.com. The sales end tomorrow night, midnight. Memorial Day, midnight. Sales in. Lowest prices, my two books that I've published about my life in wrestling, lowest price they've ever been offered or ever will be offered. If you've been holding off to buy both of my books, Do You Want to Be a Wrestler Kid? or It Takes All Kinds, this is the time to get it. Also, you can get a program there, it's a very special sale. Five Southern States Wrestling DVDs and five 8x10s from Southern States Wrestling Stars right there. Check that out also at kingofkingsport.com and the big sale. Both of my books, a signed picture from me, a signed picture from Misty James, two DVDs for the low, low price of only $50 free shipping inside the United States of America. If you're outside the United States watching us online, email me, kingofkingsport at gmail.com. Send me your postal code before you make that order. I will tell you the shipping fees because we do have to pay... Uh, royalties and we do have to pay the taxes if it's going inside of another country to the customs there so check it out kingofkingsport.com big sale going on till midnight tomorrow night but you can always get my books and the dvds there but we're offering them to you for memorial day for a low low price so make sure you check it out now let's get down to the ring of joe wheeler and i will be back in just a little bit to tell you about how you can be a wrestler right here on television now to you joe wheeler <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen this lady in video packages. You've seen her on the television program in the recent weeks here in Southern States Wrestling. I need to present to you our new Southern States Wrestling Ladies Champion, Rachel. First of all, when you speak to me, you refer to me as Miss Rachel. Yes, ma'am. I apologize. Good. We want to see what you, how you're doing here in Southern States Wrestling and what you think of the area and welcome you, know, welcome you to the United States and then see what you think of, of the area. Well, when I came into the area today, I saw Davy Crockett's birthplace and a school named after Daniel Boone. You Yanks make me laugh with your heroes. We, the British, civilized a savage nation and we brought over 
our thieves and our renegades and our criminals. And you stole this country, not from the Indians, but from the British. We gave you the money and you disrespected our country and our queen. You Americans with your royal family, the Kennedys, and your king of rock and roll, you cannot even be spoken of in the same breath as the Queen of the United Kingdom. Since I've gotten here, since I've gotten here, at least five different hillbillies have asked me out on a date. How could I shame myself and my queen by dating a hillbilly? Speaking of hillbillies, there's one hillbilly I can't get rid of. One hillbilly that chases me everywhere. And that's your favorite, your queen, Misty James. She won't leave me alone. She's harassing me everywhere I go. Well, Misty James is a tremendous competitor. And you know, I think all these people here are very proud of, of the United States and very proud of these beautiful mountains that we live in. And, you know, I, we're, we're proud of where we live. Well, you can be proud of where you live, but I'm going to show you what a real women's wrestler, a real lady wrestler can do. I'm going to show you a British wrestling princess from the United Kingdom, and I'm going to show you that your queen, Misty James, is a nobody. Yeah, right. Wow, there you hear it from Miss Rachel. What a lovely lady she is. Wow, that, that was absolutely insulting uh, <laughs> to speak about the United States and, and this beautiful mountain empire in such a manner. We're going to get right down to the ring. We've got a big tag team matchup. And the bell's gone here. The matchup's underway. We got the Death Riders hit the ring. And it is breaking loose out there. We got Chris Norris and Bobo Brown taking on the Death Riders. And... Uh, Dakota, I can't believe that Miss Rachel. She's uh, she's quite uh, quite a lady, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's uh, that was definitely interesting on her part. What you went through right there, and uh, you know, earlier today, Bobo Brown was kind of complaining about his uh, lack of TV time and the matches that he was in. Uh, he was also kind of upset about his partner today. So I guess he's, for whatever reason, not too fond of Chris uh, Chris Norris. I've seen Chris Norris compete over in the Carolinas, in North and South Carolina, and uh, he, he is a great young wrestler. Uh, he has had some success in the Carolinas, so you know now he's here in Tennessee. We'll, we'll see how he does. But um, you know, Bobo, Bobo's always complaining about his tag team partners. You know, that's nothing new. And as we saw, you know, a couple weeks ago, he actually walked out on one of his tag team partners. So uh, hopefully Chris Norris has a better fate and Bobo Brown doesn't just leave him hanging to get dismantled by both of the, the, the Death Riders this week. Oh, the Death Riders are taking care of business, and there you have it. Equalizer Crunch with the big pinfall right there in record time as the Death Riders show why they're one of the biggest, baddest tag teams to ever walk into the ring in Southern States Wrestling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Wheeler, you are right. Uh, and speaking of... Great tag teams. Let's uh, toss it right now to some words from the tag team champions, Ray Idol and Jake Booth. Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. The TV stars of the Power Half Hour are coming to a town near you. Saturday, July 12th, Appalachian Fairground, Gray, Tennessee. Food, music, fireworks, and professional wrestling at the Gray Block Party. Free admission. Saturday, July the 5th, Ashland, Kentucky. Summer Motion, the biggest summer festival in the Tri-State. Mick Foley and Jim Cornette will be in Ashland. June 20th, Gray, Tennessee, at the Community Center. A big Southern States Wrestling TV taping. 
this Friday night, St. Paul, Virginia, wrestling at Clinch River Days, free admission. Be there. Welcome back to the Power Half Hour Show. Fred here, Bo James, going to jump in just this last time here on Memorial Day weekend. Big main event coming up, Joe Briggs is going to take on Shane Royal, who's making his return here just in a few minutes. They're getting everything ready inside the studio for that big match. I want to tell you, I want to answer a question that I'm asked, it seems like almost every day. Several emails a week I get. I get asked out on the street. People ask me on social media, how do I get to do what you do, Bo James? How do we get to travel the country? How do we get in this professional wrestling? How do we get to be seen on television? Southern States Wrestling is presenting a summer camp we do this every summer. This is for men and women wanting to break into sport of professional wrestling. Whether you want to be a wrestler, a referee, a manager, a valet, email kingofkingsport at gmail.com for all the information. Summer camp starts early June. Go throughout the summer if you are lucky to make it through summer camp. We will put you in touch with promoters around the southeastern United States. We will get you your first bookings. We will help you along the way. We will help you get your gear, your wrestling boots, everything that you need to be a professional wrestler. SSW Summer Camp starting in June. Email me right now, kingofkingsport at gmail.com for all the information. Now let's get down to the ringside for our big main event. title on the line here is Joe Briggs taking on Shane Roy as they blocked up collar and elbow of course Joe Briggs in the black red and white and Shane Royal in the blue and white here as uh, Royal now looking for an escape from that hammerlock position he was able to do so turns his man around and Briggs fighting with those forearms I tell you what Joe Briggs has made a tremendous impact in his short time here at Southern States right yeah, Joey really has. Have you, you know, have you ever seen a wrestler in just his second year of wrestling as wise and dominant and really as hungry as Joe Briggs is? It, no, I, I can't really say I have. And, and his, alliance, his alliance that he has with the Cripplers, Frank Parker and Scott Sterling, that just makes him even more dangerous because he's learning from those guys as well. And with his hungry, as hungry as this young man is, and with their knowledge and experience backing him up, it's going to get dangerous. It hits, it hits Shane Royal with a high, high knee, knee right there. And Royal is down. It looks like he's in some pain as Joe Briggs doing his normal showboating around the ring. You know, he fits right in with the Cripplers. And, uh, you know, I'm personally not too fond of any of them at this point in time. But that is a, a completely different subject that maybe we'll get to touch on later uh, when we actually have the time to get into that. Right, you know, and, and that's, that's what... Uh you, you never know what Frank Parker and Scott Sterling, and now with Joe Briggs, you never know what these guys are going to do. And now that they've added to their force, they, it makes them even that much more dangerous. And Joe Briggs is hungry. Joe Briggs is here. He is a man on a mission to prove to everybody that he is a dominant force in Southern States wrestling. And this man has come on like a hurricane and, and made a huge impact in a short time. Shane Royal trying to get some momentum back with a couple punches to the midsection, but Joe Briggs nips it in the bud with a rake to the eyes and brings Royal back up to his feet. Irish whips him into the ropes and big elbow right to the jaw. Shane Royal looks like he is in some massive pain. Briggs now got a two count on that one solidly. Briggs not too happy about that two count. Thinks he feels like this match should be over already. As he uh, throws a knee into the midsection and a face full of turnbuckle. 
Let's see where Joe Briggs is going to go with his next. You know, he's such a tactical wrestler. He can go really anywhere. Ooh. Nice side slam there by Shane Royal. He took him right down and took him down hard. Follows up with a good place clothesline as Shane Royal just as fast now. He's turning that momentum. Things are going his way. This is his opportunity. Oh, nice loop. And a swinging neck breaker right there as Shane Royal has definitely come to prove himself and capture that TV title if at all possible. He's got a cover. Two count on. Just a two count. You gotta tell you, Joe, Shane Royal was that close to becoming the brand new Southern States Wrestling ta TV title, TV champion. All it takes is a blink of an eye, Dakota, and things just turned right there. Joe Briggs retains his TV title. Tremendous match up there, but Briggs, unquestionably, still your champion here in Southern States Wrestling. And still TV champion, Joe Briggs. Joe Wheeler here at ringside with the Cripplers and your TV champion, Joe Briggs. Big defeat there. Uh, Joe Briggs, big TV champion victory. Frank Parker, Bo James is coming back to Southern States Wrestling. He's coming back to a Southern States Wrestling ring real soon. He's got his eyes focused squarely on you and Scott Sterling. You know, Bo James and the James families never bragged, never claimed to be smart. And they're proving it once again by coming back to try to take on me and Scott Sterling. Bo, I thought we got rid of you the last time. Obviously, we were wrong. This time, we will leave no stone left unturned. We will do whatever we have to do to put an end to you once and for all. And you can take that to the bank. Joe Briggs, another big victory, holding on to that television title. I am the television champion for a reason, and that's because I take this business very, very seriously. You see, Frank Parker and Scott Sterling picked me for a reason. They know that I am the future of professional wrestling. All these idiots know that I am the future of professional wrestling, and you're going to know it too. Any challenger that steps into the ring with Joe Briggs is going down. Nobody on my watch will take this Southern States Wrestling Television Championship. Scott Sterling, I know you've been a little embarrassed here lately, but your eyes are focused, I'm sure, on Bo James and the James family. Joe, you keep running, rubbing salt in the wound. Jake Booth, I haven't forgot about you, son. You have embarrassed me the worst I could ever be embarrassed in my career. You think you're going to make a name for yourself by pinning my shoulders and taking those straps? I don't think so. Jake Booth, I know you come from a stupid line in your family, but you better wise up. That's the last thing I do, Jake Booth. I'm putting you down. I'm coming back. I'm getting my revenge. Frank Parker and myself are putting those straps back around my waist. There you have it, wrestling fans from the Crippler and your current TV champion, Joe Briggs. Thank you for tuning in to Southern States Wrestling this week. Be sure to join us next week as we've got a tag team titles match. We're going to see a ladies match, and we're going to hear from our Southern States champion, Kyle Cool. So until next week, stay classy, Mountain Empire. <laughs> <laughs>